Hey, it's Sarah, and I'm here to talk about the process of mummification in ancient Egypt. You know the basic stuff, like the brain was pulled out of the nose and all that kind of stuff, like the actual process. But what you don't know is what I'm going to tell you. It's all the really interesting stuff. Like, did you know that cats and dogs were uh, mummified because the ancient Egyptians thought they were sacred? Huh, my cats definitely are not sacred. Neither are my dogs. No offense. But, um, also, they, when they took the organs out of their body, they put them, when they put them in the canopy jars, they put them in a gum of a tree, which sounds very strange. Um, and also, they washed the body in nitron for 40 days. That's a long time. When they wrapped the body, it also took 15 days. That's a long time, too. That's a long time, too. Um, and when they put the mask on, it was always gold. Well, I think. It might have been wooden or gold. For pharaohs, it was probably always gold. Uh, when the canopic jars were placed inside the coffin, they always stood for something. The human stood for Aunt Seti, and he protected the liver. The jackal was Qualmodif, and he protected the stomach. The falcon was a name that I can't pronounce. It's like Cabasenus, and he protected the intestines. The baboon was happy, and he protected the lung, the lungs. Um, when they wrapped the mummy, it was always linen, never wool, for a reason that I don't know. Um, and they always used a flint knife for cutting open the body. Did you know that when they wrapped the mummy, the mummy? They always place lucky charms in it, like the Eye of Horus and Anubis, the Eye of Horus, which protects uh, the mummy from evil spirits, um, a headrest, a hand, a paper scroll, a staircase, which is strange, a winged scarab, an ankh, which is a symbol of life, and also they had eight layers of coffins. Don't you think that's a lot of coffins that they placed in? Um, when, um, when the, uh, mummy was placed in the coffin, little statues were placed in it, too, that stood for servants. So when they went into the afterlife, they would come to life and serve them like servants. Um, they also had mummy tags, like, um, that showed, they were, like, on the mummy, and they showed who they were, when they were buried, when they died, and all that kind of stuff. The, uh, they made necklaces and bracelets out of lotus flowers, which... Why would you wear lotus flowers as a necklace? Well, they did, because they were, um, ancient Egyptians. Please don't mind the cat. That's my non-sacred cat. No offense. Thanks for watching. Bye.